pile. So, this is my Pioneer CDJ 1000 Mark III. It's been working fine, it's lovely, it still pays CDs and that, but for some reason, the screen stopped working. Now, I've got experience with these matters. I normally find if, for instance, if it's drop damaged, um, the traces will break on these fluorescent displays. So, this hasn't been moved out of this box. There's no reason for that to happen, but anyway, I'm going to show you how to fault find this problem. So we're back again. So, I know from previous experience, this line represents the connections on the back of the main display. So, I just expected them with a magnifying glass. They're all fine, except for this one. As you can see, See that? So that means the trace is disconnected between there and there. So I'm going to run a wire from there to there. Or possibly, let me see, it comes down here. So there, yes. There's, there's no other connections branching off of this. So here is the main connector, and you can see the main power traces, the larger power traces come in here. So they branch off it, it like initially, it comes from the bottom half of the CDJ from here, and you can see there's a lot of pass-throughs to this connector, and onto this connector. And then you can in turn see the power now, is you've got these four main pins, so I'm not sure what the voltages are, I would sure it'd be 12 volt, 5 volt, I know there's 48 volt circuit for the um, fluorescent displays. So, on the main connections of the fluorescent display, you've got this bunch, which is actually controlled by this chip, which is actually illuminating um, each element within the fluorescent display. And then you've got the live. I've tested for ground. You've got a ground there, and you've got another ground there. This is not connected to this trace. That's the fault. Why this has happened, I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna see it. I even put my name in it. So we're gonna run a wire from here to here and we will see what happens. Hi all. So I managed to get to bridge the break in the track. Just uh, clean the trace off. So I've got my meter set for continuity mode. When it beeps, it's detecting the signal signal path. So if I come in here, it should be connected now to that one, and it is. It wasn't before. So we'll be back in a minute to see the exciting results. So we're back in it. And uh, still working fine, happy days, yeah. So I just thought I'd let you know that um, on this display, this is this is the center of display. If you get it where you've lent it out and it comes back not working, this row of connectors here have long legs that go to the um, fluorescent display. Now any drop damage, if if those legs just bend a couple of millimeters, it will short out the signal path and there's a set of fuses here these little puppies here so you test them for continuity if they've blown re-straighten the legs on this center display and replace the fuses they're normally one amp 1.5 amp they're made by littlefuse.com but i normally use any fuse at that rated amp amplitude so more amps anyway that's my uh a little bit of help for the day. Cheers! And there you go. It's fixed. Simple as that. I'll just load a uh, CD in of some description. Just make sure it's actually CD pair. It's not become suddenly broken. No, it seems to be playing it. Shaky 
There you go. That's how you do it. Get too much zoom now. So yeah, fixed. Awesome.